Hi, Laurel Holland here. How are you? This year we are focusing on creating masterful habits in our lives. Why are we doing this? We're doing this because what we find is that our life becomes a series of habitual actions day in and day out. And those habitual actions are actually creating the quality of our life. So if we change the habits, we can change the quality of our life. This requires some time, some attention on your part, and some commitment to developing a habit. And the habit develops slowly over time, but it develops really readily with commitment and a little bit of discipline and some really good attention. That's really, I think, the critical factor. If you're able to, to pay good attention to yourself, the process should go along pretty seamlessly. Today's masterful habit is examining your present for your past. I'm always on the lookout for how my past might actually be creating my life today. And when I say that, what I mean is that oftentimes our conditioning from growing up and from our early years is still impacting the way that we're living our life today and not in ways that we necessarily like or want. So in order to change that, we have to be really thoughtful and careful and start to examine our day-to-day -day experience looking for the way our past is really alive and well in our present today. So that sounds like a big task and it can be but if we break it down into some small pieces it becomes much more easy to navigate. So what I want you to do is start to look for unsuccessful repeating patterns. And these are places in your life where you find that you really aren't happy with the quality of your life. You aren't happy with the quality of experience that you're having today. And you start to look for your unsuccessful repeating behaviors. When you can nail that down and become really clear and specific about what is the action that you're taking that's contributing in a way that's causing you to feel unsuccessful or unhappy with the quality of your life, then you can identify the behavior and start changing the pattern. Very powerful. And what you want to do when you find this, right, unsuccessful repeating pattern, oftentimes what we do when we're in an unsuccessful repeating pattern, we feel a little overwhelmed, we go into automatic pilot, we're doing things that don't really feel good, we're saying things that don't really feel good, we're acting from a really um, obsessive and compulsively driven kind of place, and so we're also trying to now change the whole situation around us, oftentimes trying to control it or withdraw and run away from it, one or the other, and we never really address the pattern that's the part that we have actually control over in the situation. So. When you're looking for those unsuccessful repeating patterns, what you want to do is address the pattern, not address the whole situation. You kind of have to put the whole situation on hold for a minute and go into addressing the pattern. And the pattern resides in you. So you have complete influence over what's going on there with that pattern. You can decide how to handle it. You can decide how to change it. And you can decide what you want to do differently. And I think that reconsidering your own personal priorities and re being reminded about your own personal value system will help you identify the changes that you want to make. So as you look at your unsuccessful pattern, your repeating pattern, what you want to do is break down what's happening in there where you're not maybe living in real integrity with your own personal value system, where your priorities might be out of order. So you want to examine that, and that will really be helpful. I hope this masterful habit this week is going to challenge you to really start examining your present for your past because this can change your whole life. And this personal work is really about you. It's not about other people, as is all the video advice and the video challenges that I offer, because we really only can influence our own experience. We have control over this us.
our own being, and we end up influence the, influencing the situation and those around us by our own behavior, by our own words, by our own action, by the attitude and the energy that we bring to the situation. So we always want to come back and look at what are we contributing? What's our part in it? And oftentimes, we're in, when we're in the present and we don't like what's happening, we're kind of repeating and replaying the past. And sometimes that's not always easy to see because the situation looks a little bit different, but if you kind of had a template, you'd see that it really is probably that way. So, get to work this week. I hope you're going to really have some success here. I'd love to hear what you're challenged by and what you're working on because I'd love to be of support to you. Don't forget to come and visit us at FocusingInward.com. We have new writings every week as well as the videos being posted there. Have a great week.